LPT request what other take the stairs instead of the elevator everyday tips can you recommend? I'm looking for things that might be very small and seem insignificant but they add up a lot. Another example might be to park a bit further away from the store to get those steps up. Don't put it down. Put it away. Keep your place tidy easily. Portion your bulk snacks out when you first open the package. Yes, the entire package. Walk a bit each hour. Doesn't have to be much, but stand up and move frequently. My gym is about three blocks from work. I park at the gym every day. That way, when I get to the car, I'm already at the gym. So I may as well go in for class. Read something that said, if it takes five minutes or less to do, do it now. Don't put it off, i.e., dishes. Take the trash out. Change batteries in a smoke detector. Change a light bulb. Put something away, etc. I have implemented it for years and can vouch for it. I think it's excellent advice. Clean as you cook. While you are waiting for your meal to cook on the stove or microwave. Clean something. Might be the dishes or utensils you just used to make the meal. Might be dishes in the sink or the counter. If there is a timer it's a challenge to get as much done as you can in that time. Makes the waiting for the food to be ready go faster and the kitchen cleaner. Take your time eating and wait 5-10 minutes before getting a second helping. Our bodies need time to send the signals that mean stop eating. And you might find that just a few minutes between helpings will allow your body to let you know that you're full. Might not be exactly what you're looking for. But this tip has helped keep a healthy lifestyle and reduce overeating food costs. Edit typos. Don't put things down. Put them away. Always get up from the sofa without using your arms to push off. Just engage your core and your calf muscles. Find ways to sit on the floor more often use a low dining table coffee table. Low platform bed. Watch TV on the floor with a cushion. Etc. Sitting on the floor is good for your body and mobility. As well as the act of getting up and down often will help you to retain the strength to lift your body up and down throughout your life. Take a book or e-reader instead of scrolling through your phone in waiting rooms. Riding public transit or just general downtime. Put your remotes in a place that's not next to the couch. This made me actually think about whether I wanted to watch TV or if I was just bored. Close your kitchen every night. Keeps me from mindlessly snacking if the sink is empty and the dishwasher is on and I don't want to. Dirty a dish. Buy a water bottle that you like drinking out of so that you'll use it. When you dry your hair. Do it upside down meaning lean over to touch your toes. It's a great stretch and also adds great volume to your hair drying it from underneath. When you find a healthy food option you like, use it as a replacement for the less healthy option and always keep the swap. Even if it's a minor change, eventually these add up. Park at the far edge of the parking lot. Trying to cut out on sweets, chips etc. Don't buy in store at home. Out of sight is out of theory has worked very well. Moving walkways and escalators are there to expedite your effort. Not replace it. Keep moving. If you're hungry, drink a glass of water. And then decide what to eat. Hurrying leads to shortcuts and bad food. Water will fill your stomach for a few minutes while you make rational food choices. Don't drink your calories. Get yourself a designated water bottle and always have it next to you at work, university or bed. Make it a habit of drinking the water and immediately refill it when it's empty.
Parking further from the store away from other vehicles also helps to ensure your car doesn't get dinged by people parked next to you. It's a double win. Put your socks on while standing up. Always squat down when picking things off the floor. When you're sitting down and go to get up. Don't use your hands for support balance. Use your legs. While brushing your upper teeth. Balance on one foot. Bottom teeth. The other foot. Drink plenty of water more bathroom trips more steps and movement. Bonus points if you use the restroom farthest from you. Walk around pace when you're on the phone. Go for a walk for longer Zoom audio meetings where you don't need to have camera on. If you clean your house. When you pass under each door framed a 4-8 lunges on both legs. After mopping one room perform 4-8 push-ups. Carry the groceries luggage inside. One trip only grip strength. Man. My office is in the top floor of building 13th. I recently started doing stairs in the morning. But it's tough I'm usually huffing and puffing around 8th floor. To the op my dad used to intentionally park far away from store entrance to get shade and a few extra steps in. I've somewhat adopted that one. Don't sit for long periods of time if you can avoid it. You should try to stand up and take a drink of water every hour or every 30 minutes. Sitting compresses your spine and causes issues that you can't exercise your way out of. Standing up and drinking water frequently helps keep your spine healthy and mobile. Walk cycle to the gym. A place for everything and everything in its place. Always make your bed. It's nicer to return to. Don't follow other vehicles too closely. In addition to that, don't pull up so closely when at a stoplight. That funny meme you just laughed at on your timeline. Text it to someone you think will enjoy it. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with the people we care about. But sending a cute meme is easy and lets them know you're thinking about them. Brush your teeth after dinner. Brush thoroughly and floss. Doing this early in the evening. You'll do a better job than when you're sleepy. And you'll be less tempted to snack. I'm not a fan of keto but I do try to limit the carbs I eat now. I noticed a lot of meals come with bread potatoes beer. Try to limit one item on your plate to be a carb. So if your breakfast comes with potatoes and biscuit ask them to just keep one of those or sub them. With something healthier. Take a screenshot of what you want to buy and then wait a day or two. This has helped my ad spending immensely. Don't add to cart don't wish list simply screenshot on your phone and move on. I have yet to go back and buy anything I've done this for. They're all great items and good sales. Like these are quality things but I don't actually need them. So yeah. That's my tip. If you can afford it. An adjustable standing desk. Don't stand on the train platform waiting walk up and down it obviously not if it's crazy busy. And you're annoying everyone though. Breathe with your mouth closed whenever possible. If there's any task you need to get done that takes less than 10 minutes. Get it done as early in the day as possible. Then you don't have to stress about it and it can get you in a groove to be more productive for the rest of the day. Find a sporty hobby that you enjoy. Do stretches and or floor exercises as you watch TV or scroll your phone. Watch as much TV as you want. As long as you're working out. You're gonna get fit. Or your TV time is going to shrink. Want a Coke? Drink water instead. Huge one for me. If you take transit get off a stop early and walk the extra distance. 